Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be talking about luxury items that I'm glad I didn't buy. And these particularly are luxury items that I was obsessed with. These were on the wish list, you know? But for one reason or another, which we will be getting into today, I didn't pull the trigger and I'm happy about this decision. Jumping into the first item that I'm so glad I didn't buy is the uh, Alexander Wang Heiress Pouch. At the end of 2020, I was really falling in love with this pouch and the Prada one that I ended up going for, thankfully. But aside from the allegations surrounding Alexander Wang and all of that, and I know that it's like been settled, but I don't know, I still don't feel right. It's just a personal thing. I have sold or donated all of my Alexander Wang pieces because they were very low going. Aside from that, because I've heard bad quality shoes. Number one, I, I like the shape of it and I like how like oddly slouchy it is, but I've heard that the crystals fall off, which is the worst thing to hear with a crystal encrusted thing. You're like, I had faith in you, you were gonna stick around, like you were meant to be right or not. As far as I'm aware, the Alexander Wang ones are set in claws. These are glued. The bad thing about the claw situation is as soon as you knock it, though the metal they use for those claw claws is so like flimsy and like flexible and cheap, that as soon as you knock it, one claws off, the whole crystal is out, okay? So that's number one. The other thing is that also because it's a claw set, it like scratches and pulls on things and all of that. And honestly, like, I don't need that. I don't need you as a piece that's meant to be by my side giving us a little flex, a little sparkling flex. For you then to be destroying every clothes, every piece of clothing that you come into and also like scratching my arm like I own a cat or something, you know? Like, ugh. So for a number of reasons, I didn't get it and I'm glad that I made that decision. I got this pretty, pretty gal instead. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. All right, luxury item number two. I did a shopping vlog at Chanel end of last year and um, saw this really cool green bag, but it's got like a metal how do you even call this? What is this? How do you describe this? It's like a half leather, half metal bag and the... It's an architectural art piece. Like, I don't know, okay? But it's so cool and I love it. I really, really do and I think that it's fabulous. Couple of things as to why it wasn't gonna work out for me. Number one, that thing was just under £4,000, which, okay, Chanel pricing is one thing, but... I really didn't think that I would end up using it as much. The crossbody strap, when you put it on, didn't look quite right because it was this very like square thing. There was no movement in it, no slouch or anything to mold to the body of it. It was just like this square thing that was hanging off of you. So crossbody didn't look great. It was handheld, but you could only hold it like this because there's no way you're getting your round arm into that square gap for it. Also like the opening, that like kind of like, rigid little doctor's bag opening, I don't know. It was just too many things that I was like, you know what, for four grand, I can't be having these doubts. I need to have these boxes checked and you're not checking the boxes, you know? So sometimes those things happen. Item number three is the classic Burberry bikini. Now, I have never had a designer bikini. Over the last year and a half, I would say, I made the decision that I want to get myself a designer bikini. If we do the tie sides, then you can jiggle them up a bit, okay? Because some of us need a high cut leg. And some of those bikinis that don't come with the tie sides that are designer, it's like, you're just cutting me off straight across the hips and that is doing me zero favors, all right? So it's gotta be a tie side. I didn't want to go with Fendi because I was like, I'm not gonna pay 450 pounds for a bikini. But Burberry have theirs, it's like classic, oh my gosh, wear that until the end of time. I will be that old grandmother at the beach in her Burberry bikini. I might have a cover up over it, but I will be getting my money's worth. So this had been on the list. There are some things that are on the wish list and you never pull the trigger even though you have the budget because there's just something not quite pushing you over the edge, right? And then another bikini came along that will be in a haul coming soon that I was like, as soon as I saw it, it was like, I need it. 
I need it, here's the money, thank you so much. Right now, I'm just happy with one, I'm happy with a one designer bikini flex. I'm glad that I didn't give my spot to the Burberry one because the one I've got is so much better. <laughs> Okay, luxury item number four, the Louis Vuitton Star Trail ankle boot. I know that this is a very popular shoe. For a while I was like, oh, it's such like a classic boot, bring it out every year, blah, 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 and it certainly is. My mum has this shoe, so I've like tried it on and, you know, tottered about in it and whatever. This woman is stiff. That is a very hard shoe. If you do that on the top of the shoe, it's like lock it, knocking on a door. I kid you not. Aside from the fact that it is very stiff, I'm sure after you like walk in it for a bit, it's gonna soften up. But on top of that, the toe is very round. And you know, I'm very particular about the shape of my boot toes. The shape of the toes of my boots. And the snout, the snout of shoes. And it's just too round. Look, I know that people wear it and love it and they look great, okay? And I'm not gonna like look at somebody and be like, round toe boot, right? But, just personally, I know that I would look down and I'd be like, oh my gosh, the toe is so round. Luxury item number five, another pair of shoes, okay? And this is such a great example of like, a trendy trend that has such a very short life. I feel like they were from fall, winter 19. The Chanel snow boot wedges. I have a soft spot in my body for wedges, okay? I quite like a good wedge. A wedge, when done well, can be glorious. Okay, so I saw this and I was like, ooh, right? It always kind of gave me hospital vibes. Even the all white ones certainly did. But even the ones that were like two-tone, it gave me a little bit of, of an A&E moment. I am so glad that I didn't buy this because trend pieces, in my opinion, can go one of three ways. Way number one is they can actually become iconic. Or you have trend pieces that are kind of not too, too distinctive of the time that you can wear past that time and kind of get away with it. Then there's the trend pieces that by the next season, it's out. That's how I feel about these sodden wedges. Item number six is a bag. This is the uh, Versace Virtus box bag. Okay, so I saw this bag. It was a fabulous little leather cube with a gold V on it, tiny little top handle. You know, my mind went a little bit mental over that. I was like, oh, you're kind of cute. Very glad I didn't get this. Okay, number one of the chain strap. There is a leather section, but the majority of that chain being the, the Greca um, Greek key shape would piss me the hell off. Okay, I don't like that it's like oddly sharp and like not uniform and like smooth, you know? So there was that. On top of that, you can't wear this thin crossbody, all right? Because that thing is just gonna jut out of you at an odd angle, it's not gonna fall right. Again, similar situation to that Chanel bag I was talking about earlier. I've never really been a fan of the Versace Virtus line. It just doesn't, it doesn't give me the bubbles in my stomach. It doesn't get to me how the Medusa head gets to me, you know? Would it be a super cute dinner moment? Yes, but in reality, I'm very, very glad that I didn't buy it because I kind of think that I would have tried to sell it by now. <laughs> Item number seven, and I know this is going to upset some people. Not, not everything is for everyone. The Lady Dior, okay? I've said this before, and then since then I kind of tried on to Lady Dior's a little bit more and I was like oh maybe maybe I could I tried on a nano mini Lady Dior which is actually part of the kids section which creeps me the hell out that bag was what like 3,000 for a child for a child to put your like Rayola crayons and a weird Claire's lip balm in there the disrespect that that bag would get from a child anyway and it was cute and it was like a piece of art because it was all embroidered and all of that. And I can see that and I do think that it is so cute. Then I tried on the all black with like black crystals. Again, fabulous. But it's not me. It just doesn't feel me. It doesn't give me 100%. When I see bags and I like want to buy a bag, it's like a... It's like, a, I, ha I, I simply must. Like I don't see a world in which I live in when I do not have this bag, right? And I don't, I don't feel that for the Lady Dior. So I'm glad that both of those times I didn't just be like, fine, yeah, it's a classic. I think I should get it. I think everyone should have one. And I'm actually very grateful that I don't have one more thing to add to my wish list because my wish list 
is going through the floor it is that long. Okay, the eighth luxury item that I am so glad, ah, just hit myself in the face, that I didn't get are the Yeezy clear heels. They are absolutely everywhere, okay? So I have to give, I have to give Yeezy the credit for um, bringing attention to, I mean, just everybody just wants to look out here like they're barefoot on their tiptoes looking tall. I don't know, it's a weird illusion thing, okay? And for a while there I was like, I have to get myself a clear strappy pair, it goes with everything, literally, because there's nothing not for it to go with. Thank God that I never pulled the trigger on that because I kind of hate them. I, I don't know if it's also because they're so copied by your simmy shoes, your ego, your public desire. I don't know, cause, because because usually when things are overly copied that doesn't bother me. I don't know why for Yeezy it does, right? But there we go. Very, very glad I did not part with my money for those. The last luxury item that I want to talk about is again, I tried to pre-order this. I was like, I'm going to have this bag. Was this, I think it was Virgil's first collection for Louis Vuitton men's. And it was this mini polochon bag. It looks like a tiny little duffel bag minus the top handles on a crossbody strap. I don't know why I saw it and I loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute and casual and you would like kill it with that. And it had like the chain hanging. I was like, oh yes. And I had the opportunity to pre-order it. And for some reason, for some reason, I didn't. Then I saw a picture of Bella Hadid wearing it and I was like, this doesn't work, okay? I love Bella Hadid. However, I like a slouchy bag, but it has to have something. Like it's got to have a little bit of structure happening there, right? And I don't know if it's because there are no top handles to kind of keep it a little bit. That thing just slouches, slouches like nothing else. So there's that. Then on top of that, why? Why is the zip on the side of it? Oh great, so I go to pay, I zip, and all of my belongings fall out onto the floor. It's either that, or you um, purposely have to have a limited number of belongings in the bag so that that doesn't happen, or they all have to be shorter than the zip so that that doesn't happen. Oh my gosh, I mean, why would you, why couldn't you just put the zip three quarters of the way up? You've put it 50%. You could have gone to a 75%, okay? And made us just a little bit happier there. Again, another bag that I heard little commotion about, and I see why, logistically, it wasn't gonna work. What, it, what? Let me know which luxury items that you are obsessed with that you are now glad that you didn't buy. Okay, make me feel a little bit better. Guys, I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.